guys, welcome back to the app. For today's video, we are going to show you or discuss with you best sonar settings steel series. So if you're interested, let's start a tutorial. So in this case, if you're looking for the best settings here for your sonar settings, well, in this case, there are going to be some details and some information that you might want to take in consideration here. So first things first, uh, with Sonar settings, they actually have like presets that you could try here. So maybe you could first play around with the presets. So usually you just need to go to your Sonar here. You should be able to see the presets as you can see right now on my screen. Now you can change or see what preset works for you. So there are going to be some music presets that you could try. So go ahead and try them first. But generally speaking, the uh, settings for this one it actually depends on what you're playing or what you're trying to achieve. And also this actually takes effect on what your headset or what is the uh, current, uh, in this case, specifications of your headset. Now we actually found this post here. So a user is actually asking the same question here for the best uh, so, uh, sonar, best EQ settings. So in this case, uh, it actually depends on your headset, like what I mentioned before. So in this case, each headset has its own frequency response and curve, which shows the sh uh, how different frequencies like bass, meads, and treble are amplified or reduced. So you can find the frequency response graph on your specific headset. Now the goal is to flatten your headset sound. So to do this, you need to adjust the EQ bands based on the frequency response graph. Now for each frequency range like bass, mid, treble, say uh, take the average of the left and right channel and uh, uh, amplitude. Now, you could basically use the formula that this user actually provided, which is in this case, this one. And from then on, there are some tools that you can automatically do this for you. But so uh, in this case, you could use Sonarworks if you want, but it doesn't have presets for SteelSeries uh, headsets. So you need to manually adjust the settings based on your frequency response graph. Now, just to give you an idea, this is what uh, this user is talking about. This is what the frequency graph, this is just an example. You can go ahead and uh, view them. So yeah, you could go ahead and just search your frequency graph for your headset. But in this case, uh, that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to your lineup. Thank you for watching.